Hello guys and welcome back to another Hunters Prestige Habitat episode. Um, we've got lots of cars in this week. This car is currently just already been started on. It's having front and rear bumper pack and we've got a really, really big build. Um, it's actually outside now. It's actually a core D250 commercial and this is what it looks like currently. So on this customer's car, he's having the front and rear bumpers change. Currently he's got like the light Atlas. He's got a Fender X, so he's got the orange calipers at the front. So we're just gonna change everything to gloss black for him. It's already got obviously nice smoke lights. So we're just doing little things for this customer's build just to make it a little bit more updated for him. And then we've got another car turning up at about two o'clock. And that's just a roof rack and set of black as well. He's making too much noise today. I hope he's not like this all week. Good, that one. Yeah, it's not, okay. it's not going anywhere. <laughs> right, so just checking on the boys. They've cracked on really, really well. Front and rear bumper pack's been done. He's added a V2 check plate tailgate strip. Um, we've also now put his exhaust tips on. Mud flaps have gone back on. He already had mud flaps, but obviously when we do the front and rear bumper packs, have to take them off, put them back on again. And he's also got a spoiler on. Right, so we'll have a quick tidy up and then we'll get the other car in. This customer's in just for some little accessories. <laughs> Probably the biggest ones we sell. <laughs> um, he's having a roof rack and mud flaps. You basically look at the tape, was where it is. It still needs to go back though, I think. No, it's back there. no, his side needs to come back. There you go, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Perfecto! Do I have a What are you doing? With what? Problem with the youth today. I want to get paid, but I don't want to do the work. Right, so there you go, guys. That is roof rack and muff flaps on. Let's get this vehicle out. We're getting the other vehicle in now. Let's go. Right, and the other car is now in. Now, this is the biggest build that we have in this week. And weirdly enough, we don't actually have a dedicated day on this week for this build. So we've actually got loads of different cars in this week. So we have to try and manage this build, which is the biggest one out of all the cars we have in this week. We've got about nine in total. We've got to try and manage this one in between all those cars. So this is a low spec Defender that the customer's bought for that main reason. He's bought it because um, he actually wants to move on with it. So he's just going to do little upgrades that he thinks he's going to obviously up the value of the car and what we'd be happy with. So we're gonna be changing all the silver on this car to gloss black. Nick's just in the process of removing the um, silver badges to put black ones on there. We're gonna do front and rear bumper pack. As you can see on this side, all of the side trims have been removed. We're gonna be putting um, extended gloss black arches, obviously black door cards or 
door mouldings and just basically changing everything from ABS plastic to gloss black. We're also going to be adding loads of other different accessories to this car. Unfortunately, he's not going to have any retrofits on this build because he wants to try and keep the cost down as much as possible. But the idea of this car is he wants to bring up as much spec as possible for as little as possible in the nicest way possible. Solid. Right, so there you go, guys. That is all the bits that we've stripped from this Defender. Um, Luke is just finishing taking the bonnet inserts off. Max just walking around, making sure that he looks like he's being busy. Um, tomorrow, we have a very, very big building. Um, customer actually traveling to us. He's gonna have some interesting stuff put on his car, including a color-coded pod light, which will be really, really nice. We'll show you guys a preview of that shortly. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on with this as soon as we get time tomorrow. Right, so day two of this week, we've got another customer in. Now this customer's actually having a bespoke pod light put on his car and quite a lot of other accessories that we're gonna be doing. He's gonna have a 13.1 screen upgrade. Uh, we're also gonna be fitting an ambient light extension kit. Uh, we're gonna be doing front grill, a couple of interior accessories, having a V2 boot light, and he's having a check plate strip, reverse lights. He's also having his ladder rungs changed to gloss black. He's having rear smoke lights, and he's also having dynamic mirror indicators. Let's get started on today. <laughs> So we literally got um, a member of staff and every single accessory currently getting fitted on this car. We're really, really pushing on with this build. We've got Lucas on the pod light currently. He's just running the wires or for the control box. We've got Nick doing the dynamic mirror indicators. Mac has just swapped the rear lights and is also now doing the reverse lights on this car. Um, and the guys are now working on the 13.1 uh, screen upgrade, um, stripping it down, ready to put the new screen in and then activate it. Right, so we're now in the process of putting the top cover on the pod light, and as you can see, it's a different color. Um, obviously, we don't actually list these on our website, but we can special commission different color codes of pod light and also the spoilers. So if you're interested, get in contact with ourselves. Right, so we've got a screen in, as you can see. So it's gone for the 13.1 over the 11.4. It's just such a bigger screen, it looks so much better. Um, so that's all stripped. The screen is now win. Now we're going to activate it. Um, the customer's also got an ambient light extension kit, so we're not sure where we're going to actually do it yet. Because, as you can see, he's got a jump seat. So obviously, where we normally run the wires from the front to the back, obviously you can't do that because there's nothing to actually run it into. Um, so we may do it in a different way. Um, you can go from the right-hand side, trim, and then run it all the way back. Um, so we may do that. We're going to speak to the customer, find out if he still wants to do it or not. Um, obviously he does because big, big upgrade. Um, and if he's got the ambient light, it just makes sense to put the extension kit on it. And whilst the technician is gonna be activating the screen and 
probably doing the ambi light we're going to be stripping this car down we're going to do a black pack on this car but obviously because that's not going to move for a while we might as well strip this down normally we get the vehicle in the vehicle bay and swap it over but we might just do it here just so we can save a little bit of time because we are a bit pushed for this vehicle so we're cracking on now So back in the old days, before we actually had the vehicle bay, we actually used to work just in a warehouse like this. So we actually built the vehicle bay because we had really, really bad lighting. So working on a car out here, not in the vehicle bay, just brings it back to old times. Oh, back in the day! Right, okay, so we figured it out. Um, obviously, because this customer's got a jump seat, we can't run the same way that we normally do with the wires. So we actually did it a different way. So at the front, you may notice there's like a plastic shroud, which is for the USB-C, uh, the USB, and then also the 12 volt socket, which is actually different on the um, center console ones or the standard passenger ones that normally we do have. Um, so what we actually did was we removed that and then you can actually get into the lining. Um, so what we did was we lifted the lining up and ran the wire underneath and underneath um, the driver's side or the right hand drive, there's a cover for the battery. So we actually took it off, fed the wire through and you can actually see it that way. So it just bypasses the center console completely. And to be honest, if the center console wasn't there, it'd be a much better way for us to actually run the wires anyway. Um, so we did that. And then obviously we just split it to the um, passenger side, nice and easy. Um, so yeah, that's now all done. So we just tidied up all the wires. And as you can see, you've now got ambient light in the rear as well as in the footwells. One man army, ramble. Baby walking like Naomi, Campbell. Make me wanna risk it all, take a gamble. Little butterfly tattoo on her ankle. It go together with the one on my shoulder. Right, um, this customer's just popped in just for a quick spoiler fitment because here at Hunters we do free fitting on all of our V1 spoilers. Um, so if you have one, you don't feel comfortable putting it on, get in contact with us and we'll fit it for you. Um, that car is now done and we're gonna get that out of the way. We've got quite an impressive lineup at the moment of defenders. Um, <laughs> which this one is blocking in, so we need to get that one out, this one out, and then that one out, because Stefan's car is now done. Um, we're gonna do a quick walk around with him, show him the car, what he thinks about it, and then we'll let him go on his way. I can feel it, I'm so close. The pod light looks great. Yeah, we I mean, have with that. Yeah, I just want to try and match the, the spoiler and the, the light. Yeah. Yeah, well pleased with that. It's um, a yeah, huge improvement. So you're actually the only customer we've ever done who has ambient light in the rear and a jump seat. So you're the only UK customer that will have that. So. Well, I need a badge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you didn't know when you first came in as well that your rear lights on the right hand side was actually damaged as well. Yeah. So once we took the covers off, took all the um, trim off, we then saw it was damaged, which is good that you changed them anyway. Not only did they look better, but also they're not going to fill up the condensation now it's getting a little bit colder yeah they're really smart talk about that as well you've got the reverse lights obviously these only reverse light that land river supply and their lights are absolutely terrible at night so now it's getting darker a little bit earlier in the day reverse lights can be really really good for the evening land river made such a good vehicle and then add silver absolutely everywhere where they don't yeah. need to so it just finishes that off nicely it's really good it's crazy what a difference just literally that those three strips make yeah it completely changes as it doesn't it happy with it Love it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Really what's, good. What's next? Uh, next, <laughs> save up some money. Yeah. <laughs> Probably come back and yeah, steering wheel would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. I will give you the key because you we have a big backlog of cars in the moment. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming to us. Yeah. Appreciate your watching. If you need anything, let us know.
It has been an extremely long day today. We've we've achieved a lot, haven't we, Nick? We have. We, he said we have. He ain't got a mic. But he said we have. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, we've gone. We've had three cars in today. Um, As the mic decides to malfunction, just like the rest of the team, and George blabbers on, it was time to call it a day and grab some much-needed shut eye before diving back in tomorrow. Because, well, it's not going to build itself, is it? How much better did that make? Absolutely brilliant.